Hello and welcome. Today we're working on calculating cash paid to suppliers. If you're new, my name is Jeff from Finally Learn. We're working our way through the principles of accounting sequence and we're in chapter 12, the statement of cash flows. And so this is the direct method on the operating activity section. We're doing cash receipts and cash payments. So let's figure out cash paid to suppliers. Here's what we need to know. We need to know three items here. We need to know the cost of goods sold, the change in inventory, and the change in accounts payable. And we can calculate then how much did we pay for our goods that we purchased. Now, we have two different companies, two different examples. So let's take them one at a time here. So we're going to grab cost of goods sold. And now we see that we have inventory, we have beginning and ending inventory. So what we have is beginning inventory is 47,000. The ending inventory is 51,500. So the difference is 51,5 minus 47,000. Did that make our payment go up or did it make it go down? Well, if we buy more inventory, then the net effect is our cash payments are going to go up. So we're going to make this a positive 4,500 and we'll go from there. So purchasing more inventory means we're paying more to suppliers. Now let's look at accounts payable. Accounts payable says our beginning accounts payable went from 22 up to 26,600. So what is our change in accounts payable? Our change in accounts payable is a difference of looks like 4,600. Is that going to be a positive or a negative change? So make 22 minus the 26,6. Now, did we pay more because accounts payable grew or have we paid a little bit less because we have accounts payable, we just haven't paid it off yet? Well, this is going to be correct here. If accounts payable grows, it means we haven't paid as much on account, we haven't paid as much cash, so our cash paid to suppliers, in this case, is going to be 549900 for company F. So let's give you a different example where we have uh, inventory growing in the first one, inventory goes down in the second one, the accounts payable goes up in the first one, accounts payable goes down. So you see all the possibilities here. So here we're going to take the 290,000 is our cost of goods sold. And to that, we're going to add, we're going to add the 10,900 minus the 1,400. If our inventory goes down, it means we're paying less to buy inventory. So 3,100 is going to be a decrease because we're reducing the amount of inventory that we've um, purchased. We've sold more than, uh, than what we've repurchased. And so that's going to be a negative effect on cash payments. Now, our accounts payable goes from 8,700 down to uh, 7,300. So we're going to take the 8,700 minus the 7,300. And we'll say, because we're making payments with cash, we've made more cash payments to cause the beginning accounts payable to go down during the year to the ending accounts payable of 7300 So that increases our cash payments. So what is our cash pay to suppliers? For company G, it is 288300 We started with the 290 and took the change in inventory and the change in accounts payable. You have to figure out, does that increase our cash payments or does that decrease our cash payments?